if it they very true, but now wow, what's it called consign come and consign this kind of matter? Anyway, they say now people want to know consign something. I go really fit talk and way. Because this man they talk this matter so eh, that means not really true. If it is possible, say this year disagreement open up because it's not too much. Waiting. Ah ah. Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's segment on updates on politics matters. Here we bring you first hand news updates on politics from Nigeria and from all over the world. If it's your first time here, please do well to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and by subscribing to our youtube channel whenever there's any news update you are going to be the first to get it thank you the news report of today say the rift this disagreement fight fight here and there between obaseki and Obaseki, which is the governor of uh, Edo State, and this deputy Shaibu is Kama or oh, Sena Kama, the cause has not been on a fight. Sena, this way the door do pass, and I they backfire against them. So when they make them, they fight up and down. See, and this Kama, now as a result of the betrayal, where they don't betray one former Edo State governor, what they call Adams Oshomole. Now, we see one APC man talk. A member of the APC Congress, the uh, APC or Progressive Congress in Edo State, and former minority whip of the House of Representatives, they record the man Samson Osagi. He now claim say the rift between Governor Godwin Obaseki and his deputy Shaibu Phillips is karma for betraying the ex Governor Adams Oshomole. And in yarn this matter for inside one interview when he do recently with Punch, stating that the crisis between the two first citizens in Edo State is not unexpected. According to this Osage guy, Obaseki and Shaibu, they were driven by selfish ambition, arrogance, and unbridled power mongering, which is why they betrayed Oshomole and assumed things would go well with them. He said, you may call it drama, I will call it karma. As far as I am concerned, what is happening between the first two citizens of Edo State is not unexpected. I expect they would come to this level of launching a war against one another because they were men driven by selfish ambition, arrogance and unbridled power mongering. I know from the one that their team would not have it smooth country people now. Wow. But which kind which kind which kind come can could be this one? You know, say so they say now we see person so now they rip oh mm -hmm. that make they say my we see you they do oh when you don't do person pass before you go feel come back or hit you in a way where you not expect you call they say ah why this problem they call it? it's not to say you know, say that the evil seed where you don't so pass. Now everybody see this man they talk. So say that the evil seed where these two people they don't so pass. Now they hit them like this. So he said, look at what they did to the former governor Oshemole. If they could do all that to their predecessor, why are you expecting that things will be well with them? They must fight with each other because they are both driven by ambition and unbridled power mongering. When people occupy public offices and take power to a level that makes them disloyal and lack humility, they are bound to run into this type of crisis. So it's karma at play because there is no scintilla of evidence to have that or uh, to show that these people appreciate what the power, what the power the Edo people gave them is meant for you call it drama but i call it karma country people now don't hear this matter now say this giddy giddy up and down fights here and there agreement today disagreement tomorrow between a state governor and his deputy say now karma oh say now we see the don't do pass now they backfire this so say this will not be ordinary drama now watch this video now thank you